Get ready to dive into the latest Singapore stock news. We've got a mix of real estate investment trusts. Oh, yeah. REITs. REITs. A new burger joint on the horizon. Ooh, fun. And a sneak peek at a hot new priority launch. Buckle up, everybody. We'll be taking a look at Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust. Impact T, for short. Okay. Along with Katrina Group. Frazier's Center Point Trust. FCT. Right. FCT. Yeah. Huntak REITs. Capital Land India Trust. Clint. I like that one. Sinar Mass Land and Hong Kong Land. All right, so we got a lot to unpack today. Yeah, we're going to break down what these updates mean for investors and anyone interested in the Singapore market. Yeah. With a little insider scoop along the way. A little bit of the inside track. So let's start with the REIT roundup. It's a bit of a mixed bag this week. Right. With some REITs seeing dips in their distributions per unit. Go. Cool. DPU. Yes. Think of that as the profit share you receive as an investor. That's a good way to think about it. While others held steady or even showed some growth. Interesting. Okay. So, for example, Impact and Suntech REIT saw their DPUs drop. Impact's dip can be partly attributed to their divestment of Maple Tree Anson back in July. Mm -hmm. Additionally, some of their overseas properties haven't been performing as well. Adding to the decrease. Yeah. Now, this strategic shift away from certain asset types could signal a broader trend in the REIT market. Where investors are looking for specific kinds of properties. Right. So they're being more selective with what they're going for. Exactly. Okay. On the other hand, FCT, known for its focus on suburban malls. Maintained a pretty stable performance. Okay. These malls tend to be more resilient to market fluctuations. Which is reflected in their steady DPU, even with a minor dip in the full year figure. So even though we see a slight dip, it's not necessarily a cause for concern for investors. Precisely. It's all about understanding the context. Right. SunTech REIT's decrease is actually linked to a capital distribution they completed at the end of last year. Oh, okay. A planned move that impacts the DPU in the short term. Yeah. Then we have Clint, uh -huh. which is a completely different story. Okay. They're actually experiencing positive growth. All right. Fueled by strategic acquisitions and the strong performance of their existing properties. Okay. This is... Particularly interesting because it reflects the current positive outlook of the Indian real estate market. Which is where Clint has a significant presence. Yeah, they're doing well over there. So it's interesting how each of these REIT stories tells us something different about what's happening in those specific sectors. Absolutely. It's not about panicking or celebrating individual ups and downs. Pay attention to the why behind the numbers. Right. Looking at the factors influencing each REIT's performance. Their portfolio. Their strategy. The specific markets they operate in. Right. Will give you a much clearer picture of the Singapore market. Now let's switch gears to something a little more delicious. Oh, okay. We're talking about the arrival of the popular South Korean burger chain Lotteria. Coming to Singapore thanks to the Katrina Group. Interesting. What do you make of this move? Lottery is a big deal in South Korea. Known for their unique flavors and menu items. I hear they have a shrimp burger. Oh yeah, yeah, the shrimp burgers are famous. And bulgogi burgers. It sounds delicious. So it'll be interesting to see how Katrina Group adapts these offerings to local tastes and preferences. Yeah. This move signifies a potential shift in the Singaporean fast food scene. With international brands vying for a slice of the market. Right, it's getting more competitive. So Laudaria will be facing some stiff competition from already established brands in Singapore. True. Do you think they have what it takes to break into the market? Well, Katrina Group is likely banking on the growing popularity of Korean cuisine. And the novelty factor of a new international brand. That makes sense. The success of Lauderia in Singapore hinges on several factors. Understanding their target audience. And crafting a strategy that resonates with local tastes. Right. While standing out from the competition. It's a tough market. It is. Speaking of appealing to a specific audience, let's talk about the upcoming Pine Grove project. Okay. By Sinarmos Land and MCL Land. A subsidiary of Hong Kong Land. All right. Previews for this project start in November. Coming up. With prices ranging from $7.39 million for a two-bedroom unit to S3.99 million million for a five-bedroom unit. That's a pretty penny. It is prime location. Yeah. So what's interesting here is the developer's strategy. Right. Pine Grove's prime location and pricing clearly target a specific audience. Mm -hmm. Buyers looking for upscale, living in a highly sought after area. Makes sense. 
This launch will be a valuable indicator of current buyer sentiment and demand within this segment of the market. Right. So we're going to learn a lot by watching how this one plays out. Exactly. So by studying how this project unfolds, we might get a better understanding of where the broader Singapore property market is headed. Absolutely. This launch provides a real-time glimpse into developer strategies in the current market. Keep a close eye on how this project performs. Especially the initial sales figures. It could signal emerging trends in buyer preferences. And potential shifts in property prices in the coming months. So in today's deep dive, we've covered a range of updates in the Singapore market. From the performance of different REITs, like Impact FCT, Suntech Rate and Clint, to the arrival of Korean burger giant Lotteria. And finally, the upcoming launch of the luxury residential project Pine Grove. That's a good mix. Each of these stories highlights the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of the Singapore market. Absolutely. The key takeaway for you is to stay informed. Pay attention to these developments. Analyzing the reasons behind these shifts. And understanding the underlying trends can offer valuable insights and help you anticipate what's coming next. It's all about staying ahead of the curve. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these developments. What stood out to you? Until next time.